Well, the Jetsons did it, and now it is getting a little bit cheaper for some of us on planet Earth to catch a flight to outer space. Today, one aerospace company is announcing a new, smaller, rocket-powered vehicle that could carry space tourists for an economy fare of roughly a eh, hundred grand or so. CNBC's Jane Wells is in Beverly Hills with the CEO of this company, Jeff Grayson. Jane, how much? Uh, about a hundred grand, Mark. Such a deal. Jeff Grayson is the CEO of Xcore Aerospace. He's with me here. And today they have unveiled uh, this new suborbital craft, which will take you to the edge of the Earth's atmosphere, called the Lynx. Why don't you describe to me what, what the Lynx, we have a picture behind us, we have video. Jeff, what does a Lynx look like? What is it? Well, it's a very small craft. Uh, it's about 40 feet long, about 24-foot wingspan. It looks more or less like a speedy version of an ordinary airplane, uh, but it's smaller than the business jets that people usually think of. Um, it's small for a lot of reasons, both technical and financial, but one of the side benefits is everybody gets a front seat ride. Right. It's just you and the co-pilot seat and then the pilot. You, you get to sit right up you in front You are right seat. there with the instruments and the, and the big cockpit windows right in front of you. <laughs> What's the experience going to be? These are supposed to start taking flight in two years. What will the experience be like? Uh, we are, start by donning your pressure suit. Uh, it is, there is life support in the cockpit, but the pressure suit's there as an emergency case in case something goes wrong. Um, we strap you into the vehicle, uh, tow you out to the end of the runway. Uh, we run through pre-flight checks, just like you do in an airplane. Run all the engines for just a short burst to make sure everything's working right. You'll feel the kick when those come on. And then we light them all, and in 10 or 15 seconds, you're off and flying. You uh, told me that you get up to 200,000 feet yes. in three minutes. Correct. And the whole thing takes about then a half hour before you land. Yeah, then again. you're over the go coasting outside the atmosphere for another few minutes. Then you're re-entering the atmosphere and pulling out to uh, uh, stop all your all your vertical velocity, and then the rest of the time is gliding home and a gliding landing. Now, when these tickets go on sale to the public, they'll be around 100 grand. Half what Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic is uh, the charge. I'd probably. expect that we are not ourselves in the ticket selling business. We are selling the services of this vehicle at a wholesale price to other adventure travel providers, and they'll package it with other experiences to sell to the end user, which is why I can't say what the exact price is going to be. Branson says he's going to get up there first. Do you think so? I don't know, uh, and that's not really what I spend my time worrying about. I'm more focused on a vehicle that I think will be successful, both because of the economics and the safety in the marketplace. Jeff Grayson, CEO of X-Core Aerospace with the Lynx. Thank you very much. Mark, back to you. Jane, thanks very much, and for a hundred grand, um, hopefully we can keep the entire can of soda.